Hello YouTube and welcome to our video where today we are going to play Civilization 6. So if you want to improve your skills, you have come to the right video. We are going to make a series of how to play Russia. We are playing Peter of the Russian Empire, one of the top civs in this game, and we're going to take it slowly and explain step by step so you can up your level and improve your civ skills. So if you are looking to become a better player, you are in the right place. This is the right video for you. So please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And then we can make more interesting content. Please help out the algorithm. It needs your help. So yes, we are going to play as Russia. It is one of the best civs in the game. We are going to do a walkthrough, how to do a religion win, playing as Russia. Many people like to do a religion win. And to sum it up, we're going to buy a bunch of missionaries and apostles and convert all the other civs. You have to convert half of all the civ cities. So we are on a Pangea map and there are six players. So it'll be a bit easier to show you how to do it. And we are on it emperor level. Let's make sure before we start the game, you can see we are playing as Russia. Whoops, let's come here. You can see the game details. We chose the Emperor level because it is a difficult level. It's one of the higher difficulties, but it's not the most difficult. So hopefully the AIs won't kill us like they would on Deity. And also the city states, they won't have walls. So the AI will go and kill them. But we want to become friends with some of the city-states. We want the faith ones and the culture ones. So I will sh tell you about Russia and why it is a really good Civ. If you are starting out in Civ 6, you can choose Russia. I think it is the best one for beginners. Some people say Rome, but I think Russia is better if you want to start out because they have some good abilities and they receive some science or culture from their trade routes to civilizations that are more advanced than they are. So that's very good in the early game, especially on higher levels. And when you're learning, you can get some extra science and culture. So we will try to get some commercial hubs and send out our trade routes. That's also very good because it will help to spread our religious pressure and it will give some passive spread. And we're doing a religion win, so that will be very good for us. We also want Mother Russia, and that is very good. We get extra territory, and we find a city, and cities get plus one faith and plus one production from tundra tiles. So, yeah, we made a cold map. I put it on cold, so there will be more tundra for us to settle some cities. And we want the extra faith, because we're going for a religion win. Faith is also really good when you want to do culture. It can also be very good in domination. And also it's good in science and diplomacy. So faith is really good no matter what kind of victory you are going for. And in the early game, we want to set up our cities. We'll basically use the same strategy for any type of, of victory. So it doesn't matter what kind of victory you're going for. The first, say, 70 to 80 turns. Are going to be about the same so even if you're not interested in a religion win you should watch this video to see how you can do, improve your very early game skills and we'll make a series because we're going to take it slowly and explain step by step how we make some decisions how to do some scouting and russia is also very good because they get a cossack it comes later in the game i think at military science we will check in a minute but it's unique unit. It's very strong. It replaces the cavalry. So it's good if you want to go and kill everyone and do a domination. We can do a walkthrough on domination later. And Russia, you would do it later in the game. You would probably build some nice big cities and get a lot of faith. And then you can spam out some Cossacks and go and kill the AIs and get a domination win. So. It's very strong, one of the strongest units in the game. 
And also, we have one of the best districts in the game. And it's why Russia is a good sieve. It's got a very strong, unique unit. A very good ability. And it's got one of the best districts. We have the Lavra. It is a half-price holy site. And it gives us some bonuses. We can build it very quickly. But it also makes our city grow. When we get a great person, it gives us an extra great profit point. So when we build our Lavra, we will get two great profit points instead of one. And that will help us get a religion so much faster. And if you're going for a religion win, you want to get a religion. And you want to get it quickly. So that will help us. But also, the Lavra, it gives you some great people points. Plus one great writer point per turn when you have a shrine. And plus one great artist points when you have a temple. So yeah, if you've played Civ and you've seen Russia as the AI, you will see they have lots of great writers hanging around because they're an AI and they're kind of dumb, just like all the other AIs. They don't know what to do. So they don't know how to build theater squares or how to use the secret societies. Yes, we are playing on secret society mode and we will go for Void Singers. So Void Singers will give us even more faith from our obelisks, they replace the monument. So we hope that we can find some tribal huts so we can find the Void Singers. And then when we get our worship building, we'll get some great musician points. But we're going for a religion win. So we'll probably try to win before we get great musicians. So Russia is also very good in a culture win. You don't have to build a ton of theater squares or you can build them later and you still get lots of great people. So then when you use Void Singers, you can still get, get your great works inside your obelisks. So Void Singers is very nice to have in a culture win. So, but we will do a culture walkthrough as Russia and another series. So please like the video and subscribe so we can get more subscribers. And then we can make more videos so we can help you to improve your skills. So it looks like here we have boosted foreign trade. And we are playing with the Heroes and Legends and also with the Secret Societies. And we also have the Corporations mode, Industries and Corporations. So we want to get some commercial hubs quite quickly. But we boosted foreign trade. But before we start, we will continue here so we can see the Civics tree. Yes, we will go through the Civics tree. We've already boosted foreign trade. That's very good. Then we'll go for mysticism. We'll get our government plaza and get our government, get our governor titles. We'll go for political philosophy and try to go for a classical republic, probably. That'll give us more great people points so we can get some merchants and writers. We'll go for drama and poetry and then to theology so we can get our temples to buy some apostles. Then we'll build the Mahabodhi Temple. It's one of the best wonders. You get plus two diplomatic victory points, but we don't care about that. But we want the two apostles that we will get when we build the Mahabodhi. So we can improve our religion and then get more apostles. So it also gives you faith. It has to be built on a woods next to a holy site. And it must have a temple inside. So we'll get our temple very quickly. Then we'll go for games and recreations to build another great wonder, the Colosseum. And these two wonders, you should probably build in any type of win if you have a faith game, which I would suggest for most, most situations. If you can get a religion, it helps you a lot, especially when you get some Golden Ages. So we will try to get the Golden Age. So we want the Colosseum because it gives us amenities and some culture and some loyalty for all these cities within six tiles. So if we can hit four or five of our cities, then we're in really good shape. And since we're going for a religion win, we'll probably build six or maybe seven. That's enough cities, especially as Russia, to get tons of faith to buy our missionaries and apostles. So that should be good. We may build the mausoleum at Hali Karnassus if we have a coastal city and it looks like we do have some coast. So we'll probably go for this. We'll need a harbor. So we may also build some preserves because we'll be in the tundra. That gives you a little bit of extra faith and culture and a little bit of food and housing, depending on the appeal. And, of course, the tundra, it has really good appeal 
so the preserve is good for Russia. So we don't need to build theater squares because we're going for a culture win, but we need to get drama and poetry to go down to theology. Then we will go for feudalism to get some good builders, and we'll go for divine right so we can and get monarchy and get more slots in our government and maybe build Kotoku in, which gives you plus 20% faith in the city. You also get four warrior monks, then you put in the retainers card, and then you put your warrior monks in your city, and you have more amenities. And then if some annoying barbs come, you can use them to help fight those barbs. And I will guarantee you 100% that we will have barbs probably very early, because with Civ 6, and there's always barbarians, unless you turn them off, but we always play with barbarians, because you want the era score, and it makes the game interesting, and sometimes annoying, but that's just the barbs. So then we'll go for theology. We want Reformed Church, because when you're going for a religion win, it's very good. It's cheaper to buy things with faith, and you can get some theology, combat strength. There's some good cards that you will need. So that's how you go through the civics tree. After that, you don't really care because you want to win before you get to democracy. If the game takes longer, we may go for water parks to get more amenities. When your cities are happy, they put out more things, put out more faith, they put out more science, and they put out more culture. So you really want to have good amenities, and then you can win faster. And we can get archaeologists, but we probably won't in this game because it's not a culture win. But we will do a culture walkthrough playing as Russia in another video. So that's the plan for our religion win. But in the science tree, we do kind of care a little bit about science, but we care more about culture and faith. But we want to start with astrology. We want to find a wonder so we can boast it. Then. We want to get our commercial hubs. Before we can do that, we probably will finish these. We may delay animal husbandry, because almost certainly there will be horses where we want to put our government plaza, and maybe where we want to put our commercial hubs. So we'll get pottery and mining, and then probably writing. If there's a mean AI next to us, which is quite likely, then we'll have to rush archery. And if we have a good place for the Temple of Artemis, then we'll rush animal husbandry, so we can build the Temple of Artemis. Then we can boost drama and poetry, and we can get to the Mahabodhi Temple faster. And that's always a good thing. So we want to get currency, and we may want to get some harbors if we have some coastal cities. Mathematics could also be good, so we can build a Diplo Quarter. That's also a very nice district. We may want some aqueducts, so we may go for engineering, but most importantly, we want to go for cartography. We want to teach our missionaries and apostles how to swim in the ocean. Even though we're on a Pangea map and there's only six players, if we're at the edge, and it looks like we might be by looking at where we spawn, then we probably need our missionaries and apostles to do some swimming. And we can also build this Casa Wonder. It's also a very good wonder because we'll get more great merchant points and We'll also get three governor promotions. And if we have some cities on another continent, which looks very likely because we spawned on the continent break, then they will also give us more production and faith and gold if they have a governor. So we'll want to get a bunch of governors and see if we can do that. So that is the plan. So in order to win a religion win, you have to convert all of the other sieves. You have to convert more than half of their cities. So we have to get a religion. So, of course, getting a religion is not the most important thing. So we want to get our, our holy sites very quickly. And luckily for us, we have the Lavra. It's a very good district. So we want to come in here. And, of course, nobody now is going for a great profit. However, we only have six players. And we have to remember that it is possible that Arabia is in the game. We don't know who's in the game, but Arabia, they have the ability to get the last great profit. So we want to get to work quickly because somebody might build the Stonehenge 
and then somebody else gets a great profit, and then we are next in line. But then another sieve, they decide to run a holy site prayer. They beat us by one or two turns, and we are out of luck. So that means Rus Russia would be without a religion, and the Arabs would get the last one. So we will try to get the first one. And if somebody builds the Stonehenge, hopefully we will be second or maybe third. But we don't want to be fourth because the Arabs, if they're in the game, they will always be fourth. So we have to keep that in mind. And it looks like great news. Emotep is the first great engineer. And we always want to see that because we can buy Emotep with faith. And we can build the mausoleum at Holly Conarsis. And then we get it for free because then we get an extra engineer charge. And we still have two charges on Emotep. And we can build another wonder. So we might build the Colosseum or the Casa or Kotoku Inn. So we do have some coast here. So we may settle over here to build the mausoleum. So we can also go for Kiwa, Kisalani. But in a religion game, we might not get down there. It's usually really good in the other types of victories. So, also the Oracle is a very good wonder. But in a religion win, we will probably just go for a great merchants. So we probably won't use the production to build the Oracle unless we have a chance. But we may go for a different one. So, we have diamonds and we have a salt. So we'll go for our mining after astrology. We're also going to hope that we find some goody huts because then we can get some good things. Maybe we can find a relic and we can find a wonder and we can get lots of early faith. So yeah, we have some tundra tiles. Hopefully somewhere down here is a good place for a lava and we need to put it next to the woods so we can build our, our Mahabodhi temple. So we probably want to scout with our warrior and maybe go across the river to see what's up here. We also want to know what's down here. We're looking for good city locations. So maybe we cross the river. And we didn't find much. So we could back up and settle on the diamonds. However, you want to settle on the fresh water and settle on the river. We have a nice three food tile here. So we will get some faith if we work on these tundra tiles. But first, we will grow our city to two population. And then we will work the faith tiles. And we'll probably work this one here. So we can get the gold from the diamonds. So let's settle our city and go off on the races. Here we go. It's also on a marsh. That's kind of interesting. So we actually could move over one. So we could work this marsh. Is that a tundra tile? I cannot tell if there's tundra there. Um, it looks like it is. How can there be tundra and a marsh? That is quite interesting. I think that's a grassland tile. But we could actually move over and do a turn two settle. That is another idea. And it may be worth it. So let's move over and see what we find. Yeah, that might be a good place to settle. We got a lot of tundra. But this might be our best lava tile. We will see. So. Let's give it a turn to settle and see what happens. See if it's a good idea. And there we go. And now we will settle right here. And we got for Eriscor because we were the first to find a continent. And it's called Pontonia. We also got one Eriscor for settling on the river. So now we move our warrior. And we didn't find much. There is some tea. So now we need to get to work on building something. So we probably want to build some scouts. So we can go and find some goody huts. And it's definitely not working the food tile. What tile are we working? Sometimes in the early game, you have to move your, your citizens around. But we want to work this food tile. And it's not a tundra tile. But we will grow very quickly. So then we can work on the on this tile. That will give us some faith, production, and gold. That will be very good for us. So we'll do some scouting and hope to meet some city-states. And there's a nice tea up here. So we'll move towards it. 
and we didn't find anything other than the T. So we just keep going, and we will grow in four turns. So that's very good. And we'll move up here. And we found a goodie hut. So hopefully in that goodie hut, there is a relic. I like to get a relic early in the game, but they're very hard to get. You almost never get them, but the AI always does. So maybe we can buy one from an AI. Well, we met Fez. That's very good. And there's a Fez warrior. And we got a first meet. So we got some extra science. And it's always good to get a first meet on a city state. They want us to get the bronze working Eureka. That should be pretty easy. All we have to do is kill three barbarians. And there almost certainly will be lots of barbarians. And we got a governor title. And so we have some choices. So we're not going for Owls of Minerva, so we don't care about them. But many people, they like Pingala, but I almost always will choose Magnus. You can choose Amani sometimes and put her in a city-state. Fez is a good choice for a suzerain in a religion win, because when you convert cities to your religion, they give you a science boost. However, we will choose Magnus because of his abilities for chopping and also down to provision so we don't lose population when we settle our cities. So let's appoint Magnus. Maybe later we will go for Amani. So, but we want to know more about what's out there before we make lots of decisions. So, yeah, that's what we do. And we might put our Lavra on this tile. It could be a good choice because it's on the Tundra. And it should get a boost. It's already a plus one. And then there's one, two, three Tundra tiles around. That would make it only a plus four. If we can get the Tundra Pantheon. So we could also put it on this tile. Because there is a woods here it looks like. So that might be a better choice. <laughs> so we actually have quite a bit of marsh. We could go for Etamanaki. If there's more marsh around us. It's kind of interesting when you start out with Marsh playing as Russia. So let's put our Lavra here. It's already a plus one. It should be two, three, four. Yeah, it's the same. So either way, we don't have the best Lavra in our capital, but it is our capital. So we'll have other good Lavras. If you get the Tundra Pantheon and then you put some Lavras down, then you go for a work ethic. You can get some really good production. So let's move into the goodie hut. And we got 40 gold. Not bad. We may need it for a slinger. So we could put it towards a slinger. That could be good. Because almost certainly there's going to be some barbarians. And we want to keep our warrior nearby. But we can scout over here. And see what's over here. So yep, there's lots of stone. So that's about it. So we just keep playing until we find something interesting. And then we make some decisions. That's how you start out in Civ. And we'll continue to go up. And we can go around. There's a lot of nice land up here. But we need to know what's over here. And also down here. So we can decide where to settle next. So let's come around and work our way around. And hopefully we find some city-states and some goody huts and some wonders along the way. So, yeah, we just wait. <laughs> and our scout, he took a lot of time because we focused on growth. But now you can see we are working that faith tile. And we got stuck by the mountain. We want to move our scout to the east to see what's over there. And we're stuck. <laughs> so. Maybe we should come in here and see what tiles we're working. Now we're at plus two food. So, yeah, it chose correctly. That was the best tile. So we're probably good. We don't have to manage it. Later we'll put our cities on food and production focus. And it usually picks pretty good tiles. So we should probably build another scout. And that will finish at the same time as astrology. And then we can put down our lava. And then we get a settler, and we go and put down a second lavra, and we try to get the first religion. 
And then we go for our monuments and slingers. So we'll also need some builders. You want to get early builders so you can improve your luxuries. If you're lucky, you might find one in a goodie hut, but that doesn't happen much. So let's get to work on another scout. Then we go to the next turn. And we just wait and hope that there's no barbs. And yep, there we go. And we'll go this way. And we haven't found anything yet. So we go to the next turn. The early game can be a bit repetitive until you find something interesting. And we just keep scouting. And we found a pet wonder. It is the Pantanal. Maybe we'll find Brazil right next door. Wouldn't that be something? We got the Hermetic Order, but we don't care about that. We did find a goodie hut, and we just finished Astrology. So, we should probably come in here, and we will finish our Scout, but we should decide where to put our Lavra, and we have some options. So, yeah, maybe we want to do some Scouting. There's a plus three up here. That's kind of interesting. So, there must be more mountains. So, let's move our Scout. We can go here, and there's even some desert. We'll come down here. We want to go along the tundra line, so we kind of know where to settle. It looks like a second city right over here would be a good choice, I think. And maybe we can do something like this. We'll put a city here, but we want to know if there's some resources. There is some stone. Hopefully there's some other resources. But we'll keep it in mind, and then we'll make a plan. So, let's go for mining. In case we find a builder, we can put up our mines on our resources. But, we did find a barbarian, but we didn't find a builder. But let's go into the goody hut. We have found Himiko. That is a very good hero to find early in the game. Especially if you want to become friends. With the city states and the reboosted military tradition, we would we would have done that anyway when we killed some barbs. But yeah, here's a volcano, and we'll move down here, and we can move down here, and there is our barb camp. So we want to bring our warrior back as fast as we can to go and kill that barb camp. We'll probably buy a slinger soon. So. Yep, that's all that's down here. So, we don't want to keep scouting in front of this barbarian. So, we'll come back up this way. So, yeah, we don't have a lot of tundra, which is kind of unfortunate. But we seem to have enough to get some nice lavras. And that's what we care about. We are going for a religion win. So, we want to get some lavras. And we could actually put this city. We should put its lavra down in the tundra, but we'll do a little more scouting and then decide which tile is best. So, this scout, we probably want to send up this way. And, yeah, we'll go around. We don't want to hit the barbarian. So, let's just go up this way. And there's some jade. So, that's very good. We like jade because it's another resource. So, yeah, that's a good one. So, whoop. This city looks like it's a very good location. We also got some wheat. So, I'll probably put our lava down here in the tundra. Put this one here. And we could even buy out to this tile. We got a lot of gold. So, we could buy out two tiles. And then we can put them next to each other. But we might not. We'll just see. We want to finish our scout, and then we will decide. We also need a government plaza. We need to decide where to put it. Maybe in our second city is a good choice, because we will settle, and we'll build a lava, and then we can get a government plaza when it hits turn four, when it gets four population. And there's a barbarian. We also found a goodie hut. So hopefully we will find the void singers. And hopefully a relic. I think we didn't find the Void Singers yet. So, nope, we didn't. And hopefully we will. 
and we're already at 10 era score. So let's keep scouting. We can go near the river, and there's also some desert. We could build the pyramids, but they will probably get taken by the AI before we can even think about it. It's usually one of the first wonders to disappear. So the AIs, they love to build the pyramids. And we have finished our civic, and maybe we should chase this barbarian, but we may just go and scout more because we're kind of greedy and we want to find things and hope that we don't get killed by barbarians. So we'll use this scout and see what's along the tundra line. Then we might go back up. So, yeah, we got a lava. Let's uh, put our government plaza. And where should we put it? Well, we could put it near the lava to boost the lava, but there's a nice volcano. So, maybe we can put it somewhere where we can boost a commercial hub. And we can put another city nearby to also boost. We want, we got some culture here. So, there's probably another wonder. So, we'll probably put a city over here. So, maybe we put our government plaza here. And then we can put a commercial hub right here. And this is probably a very good area to put down the Colosseum. We've already got a plus four commercial hub. So, if we put an entertainment complex, then we can put down the Colosseum. And it'll kind of be in the middle in between our cities. We will probably chop this tile into the arena. And then we can put down the Colosseum. It has to be on a flat tile. And since we know there's a wonder, we're probably going to put a city right in this area. So we're going to go for foreign trade. And see, when you see these culture tiles, that you know there's a wonder nearby. So that's how we can know. And we'll go for discipline. And maybe we should go for a god king. So we can get our pantheon. We don't want someone to steal it. Then when we finish foreign trade, we will switch to urban planning. And we will improve our production. So now we work on a lava. And we're going to hope that we can get the tundra pantheon. So we might want to put our lava here. However, there's no forest to build a Mahabodhi. So we probably want to build it in our capital. We could put it up here. It would be a plus three. And then, and then if we get the Tundra Pantheon, well, there's no Tundra. So we're going to go ahead and try to put it here. We could even buy out to here. That might not be a bad idea. But before we do that, let's try to move our tack and see what happens. We do want money for a Slinger. But hopefully we can get our Lavra. And we can get a settler out before we need to get a slinger. So let's see here. I think if we put the lava here, it will be better for both of them. So maybe we spend the gold again. Sometimes it's risky, but we'll take a chance. That's what you do when you play Civ. Sometimes you just have to take a chance and hope that it turns out. Otherwise, you may just restart the game. So. Yep, there's a barbarian right here next to this goody hut. So we'll probably kill the barbarian. And we found Hippolyta. That's pretty good. We also got an envoy. So that's also good. We didn't get a relic. However, we've only met one city-state. So we should probably go and meet some more. So let's see if we can find some more before we spend our, our envoy. And there it is. It is uh, a mouthful of a wonder, so I won't try to pronounce it, but we will definitely put a city there. We found the twins. We haven't found a really good hero, but we did find, uh, find Himiko, so that's very good. And we'll keep scouting. We'll save our promotion because our scout, he's going to get killed by barbs, so we want to save it. So we definitely want to put a city down here, and we want to put it maybe. Maybe on this tile is not bad. There's no fresh water, but there is some marsh so we can grow our city. And it's nice 
and close to this wonder. So it's not a bad place for our third city. So yeah, we got one, two, three cities out. That looks good. And then we put a commercial hub here next to our government plaza. And we could put our lavra maybe down on this tile because it'll be near all the tundra. So we may actually build a preserve because we are close to this wonder. We could put down a preserve in one of the cities. We may put one in our capital. We'll just wait and see. And then we can put another city over here. Two, three, four, five, six. It'll be out of range of the Colosseum. That's kind of a bummer. So we could move the Colosseum over. We will see. The thing about Russia is you kind of settle in a line along the tundra. So that is how you play. But it just depends on you and your strategy. There's many different ways. And sure enough, we probably should have gotten a slinger instead of a lavra. And the barbarians, they have found us. So now he'll run back to his barb friends. It's quite likely that his friends are right here. And very soon, we'll have lots of barbarians around our city. So that's not really good. So hopefully, they won't cause too much trouble. And here, we want to cross the river and try to kill that barbarian. And we'll continue to scout. And we might want to come up here because there's probably some city states or some civs. This scout can also go and look. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. And we're hoping to find more goody huts. We found three goody huts, but we haven't found the void singers. So, we need to find more goody huts. So, we can even come over here. And we found the another wonder. And another goody hut. So, and we found Beowulf. We're finding all the heroes. So, we probably have to go for one to deal with the barbs. I'd rather find Hercules or Maui because they're more useful. For Hercules, you can put down districts and Maui gives you resources. But Beowulf, he may be good because he can delete the barbarians. Or we can go for the twins and they can go and steal the barbarians and we can get a military. Maybe we can kill one of the AIs instead of converting them, but we'll still have to convert their cities. So we will see. We can see what to do. Well, we haven't met anybody yet, so maybe we'll work on animal husbandry. We may need some archers later in the game, and the scout can promote, but we want to keep the promotion. Well, there's the Vatican. That is a good one. Unfortunately for us, Somebody's already met them, so we didn't get a first meet. However, they are a faith-based city-state, and they want a craftsman boost. So maybe we can get a builder, maybe in a goody hut, and then we can <laughs> boost craftsmanship, and then we can give them our envoys, and we can become their suzerain. They give you more faith, and when you use a great person, you get religious pressure, religious spread, so that's very good. So we met another city-state, and we'll keep moving with our scout. So it looks like over here we have a tobacco tile. So we probably want to put in one, one more city over in this area. And then we'll put one over near the coast. That's one, two, three, four, five. Then we need to find one more. Maybe we can put one over in this area once we see what's over there. So we'll put down a map tack to remind us that we're going to put a city here. And we can put it on this tile. Yep, so we can get this tobacco. So that's another resource. And we want to get as many resources as we can so we can build some industries. There's also lots of marsh. So we may actually try to go for the Etamanaki. That might be kind of fun. So we, we need to meet a sieve so we can get writing, so we can get to work on the Etamanaki. And we might put it over here. So it's quite possible. However, the AI will build it. Sometimes it's very random. Sometimes it goes very early. And sometimes it doesn't go. So we might be able to get it. So it gives you a nice science boost and production boost on your marsh tiles. So, and we got a lot. But if we don't get the Etimanaki, 
we will just chop our marsh tiles and grow our cities so we can win either way and it looks like luckily for us that barbarian is headed to this camp so we will try to intercept him and keep him from getting to his friend so he doesn't tell his friend that we exist and there's another goody hut so we'll just keep scouting and there's hatusa that's another city state and we probably didn't get a first meet because it seems like someone's over here yep somebody they already put amani there however they both want craftsmanship that's kind of funny so we may go for fez <laughs> that will be very good and we'll keep scouting and we met the coast <laughs> that's kind of interesting so now the game's getting very interesting we're finding some interesting things we're also going to finish our lava which will give us some era score and on turn 21 we'll be very close to a golden age so hopefully for us nobody else is going for a great profit but we will take a look so now we're getting plus four faith from our lava so maybe we didn't need to put in that card and we could have gone for production no nope, nobody's getting some great people points yet so yep let's come into here and we got more gold so we may have to buy a slinger however we still haven't gotten the void singers we've gotten a ton of goody huts and we haven't gotten the void singers and unfortunately we didn't get any relics <laughs> so yeah we need a settler so let's go for a settler and there's a barb scout just waiting to die to help us to boost bronze working so let's go and take care of that we got a promotion so we can promote and then we can kill him so yep there is our barb friend he is trying to get to his friend so we want to make sure he doesn't come here so that would be very bad then he'll spawn a whole bunch of more barbs so we want to kill him before he can get there so there we go we attacked him and we got the void singers finally and we boosted writing that's not very useful because we'll need another sieve probably in another turn and then we will have boosted writing so we got a lot of desert so maybe we want to try and avoid meeting sieves and see if we can come down here with our scout he's got a promotion so we can see if there's more goody huts down here nope there's that scout so yep we want to chase him away but we're keeping an eye on this one because he knows that we exist and he ran the other way so that's good for us so we'll heal up our warrior and we'll go with this one there's a lot of nice desert tiles so if you want to build the petra you're in the right spot and let's promote our scout we can go with alpine faster movement on hill terrain and we have a lot of hills so that looks like a good one so let's see where this barb goes and he ran back and he ran in front of our warrior so hopefully he will die we can kill him we finished animal husbandry so hopefully luckily for us the horses are right where we want to settle our next city and we'll just go ahead and settle right on the horses and then we will sell them all to the ais and make lots of gold so it looks like we made the right choice we also have another horse here so i'm sure we'll put a city over here but we could put it up here next to the rock of gibraltar we have some choices but let's kill this barb so he doesn't go and tell all his friends that our city exists <laughs> so that would be very terrible and yeah we want to chase that other barb and sure enough there is a barb galley that means there's a barb camp somewhere in the neighborhood so yeah we want to be careful so we'll go up that way yeah it's always funny when there's a barb galley just hanging out there so we haven't boosted anything yet that's kind of bad but we should go for pottery we got our pantheon and sure enough 
we got the Dance of Aurora. That's very good. And we always like to come in here and see if anybody took religious settlements. The AI always takes that first, but we don't mind because we want Dance of Aurora. That's going to give us lots of faith from our Lavra. And now our faith has gone up a bit. So we boosted mysticism. That's also very good. And now we have this Lavra. It's a plus six. So it was probably good that we built it there. If we would have built it here, let's see what it would be. It would have been, it still says plus one because the game hasn't updated that we updated our Pantheon. So yeah, we'll have to wait till the next turn and push the next turn button. And then the game will update that we have a Pantheon. So yeah, there's a lot of horses. There's some horses here and there's also some here. So I would expect that this barb, he's going to spawn out horses if this scout can make it back. But we will keep this scout from going over there so he doesn't spawn on lots of horses all over the place because that would be very bad and we'd have to fight them. So, yep, we're just one turn away from getting a golden age. It's only turn 25. So, yeah, this is why Russia, they're a very good sieve. So they're very strong. And it's very easy to get a golden age. And we come in here. And we see we are the only ones going for a religion. The only ones getting great profit points. That's very good in a religion win. So it is though quite possible that in a few turns, somebody's going to build the Stonehenge. Or more likely, they'll build the Etimanaki. Because we want to build it. So I almost never plan to build the Etimanaki. Because... Very rarely am I going to get it, but sometimes it just shows up and it's there and I say, okay, let's build it and then I can get it. So, yep, yeah, that's a plus seven. So, yeah, we're going to finish foreign trade very soon and we want to put in the production card and that scout, he just killed himself on our scout. So now we're getting closer to getting bronze working boosted and getting another envoy. So we'll heal up our scout. And there is that scout. Yep, he's just going to hang out. Maybe we move closer so we can go and kill him. We'll buy a slinger and a capital. And then we can get rid of him. We can use our slinger to boost archery and to boost bronze working. So yeah, you just stand there because you know I'm going to build at the Manaki and don't move. So Atusa is at war with Vatican City. That's kind of interesting. Yep, somebody's probably already declared war on another sieve. So, and Atusa, yeah, somebody is their suzerain, but we don't know who it is because we haven't met them yet. So, we'll heal up our warrior. And we want to be careful because right now we don't have enough gold to send a delegation. So, we actually want to not move our scout and we will tell him to wait one turn in case there is a sieve because we know there's a sieve up here because they took over Atusa as the suzerain. So we won't move our scout, but next turn we will move our scout. <laughs> so we want to get our city and start getting horses so that we can trade with that sieve up there and get more gold. So. Yeah, let's see if we can trap this scout. And he's getting trapped. Now we have enough gold so we can move our scout. And there's a geothermal fissure, but there's no sieve. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> They're up there somewhere. And sure enough, oh, they built the Great Bath. That is fine because we're not going to go for the Great Bath in this game. So it is fun to get that one. But we're not getting it this game. Somebody built it. However, we are going to boost archery. And we're going to boost bronze working. There is our archery boost. And it looks like we already boosted bronze working. Did we? No, I guess we have to kill one more barb. We've only killed two. So let's go up here and work on barb three. And we'll move our scout. And we still didn't meet whoever is up here, but we know they're hiding up there. So, yeah, we want to change 
our government policies. We want to go to urban planning so we can build things faster. And that's very good. So, yeah. One more turn, three more turns for our settler. We'll go for, maybe we go for archery. Probably don't want to finish it. We want to get it down to just like one turn and buy another slinger and then finish it. And we haven't, we boosted mysticism. We could go for mysticism. It's not a bad choice. We can also go for the other two, but we need a builder. So we need to sell our horses, but first we need to get them. So, yeah, we could put another city over here, maybe on this tile, or maybe on the, over here. Maybe I want to put it close to the Rock of Gibraltar. It won't have a very good holy site, but there are lots of horses and a salt. We could put one up here, or maybe we want to try to get that salt, so we want to put it closer to the Rock of Gibraltar. So we'll put it right here, maybe. And that will give us this ability to get this here. And there is a marsh tile. So if we get Exponaki, we can use it. But if we don't, then we can put a Lavra. But we can put our Lavra here. And we won't get a boost from it. But if we put a Harbor, then it becomes a plus one. And then we will put the mausoleum. That's why we're getting this city. And so we can put the mausoleum. We can get Emotep. So that will be this city's purpose. And to get that salt and all these horses. We're going to have a lot of horses. And the AI, they will want to buy our horses. So then pretty soon, they'll have a lot of horses. So maybe we can build some horsemen and go and take over an AI. That could be fun, even in a religion win. So, we also have a lot of land up here. There's probably another sieve up there. So, let's keep going. This map seems to have a lot of space. We could put down, like, a lot of cities on this map. And Vatican City, it looks like it's in trouble. So, that's not very good. Because we want to be their suzerain. But we probably won't try because it looks like they're going to die. And now we're looking. And sure enough, we have met our neighbor. They're kind of far away. However, they are a good neighbor and a religion win, because this is the Congo that does not get the holy sites. So as soon as we get a religion, we will promptly buy a missionary, and we will go to their cities, and we will convert them, and then they will like us, and they will be friendly. So. We will say, it's nice to meet you, and we'll sample your hospitality, and we'll send them a delegation so they don't come and kill us before we can send our missionaries. So, but he likes it when you can convert him to your religion, and it's most likely that he is the one who is the suzerain of Hattusa. And it says, unmet player. Hmm, how about the Vatican? They are at war, but not with the Congo. So there's another sieve very close to the Congo. So most likely that other sieve will also send all their missionaries and apostles to the Congo. So we will probably spend a lot of time in their lands fighting our religious battle. And we can see that they're building a wonder. So we want to come over. It's probably the Ectomanaki. And we probably won't get it. But that's okay. So we'll just chop out all our marsh tiles. But... It is possible that we can get it. We can switch over. We should probably switch over to riding pretty quickly. But we'll keep working on archery. We're not in any rush. <laughs> so, at the Manaki, it's not the most important wonder in the game. And he's already friendly. He likes it that we sent him a delegation. So we'll go ahead and try to get a friendship. That way he doesn't come and kill us. That would be very bad. And we've already gotten a golden age. But we want to scout down here. Just to see what's down here. There is a spices. So. What does the spices need? I think it needs irrigation. Maybe we should go for irrigation. So we can get these spices. They're kind of far from our city. Yeah, we'll need irrigation. So we may put our sixth city 
over here. We got one, two, three, four, five. We also want to get rid of this barb because it's probably going to spawn lots of barbs very, very soon. But we want to move our slinger right here so he can escort our settler. And we want to come up here to get rid of this barb camp. It's a very annoying one, I'm sure. It's going to start spawning horses. So, yep, there's another barb. And if we can kill that barb, we will boost bronze working and get an envoy with Fez. <laughs> that will be very good. So, we would like that. So, we just keep waiting. And we met another city-state. Looks like we met Jerusalem. And that is a good one. Unfortunately, it was not a first meet. But we're in a religion game. And we want to beat religious city-states. We have three of them. They all want us to boost craftsmanship. So it's very likely that we should get a builder. We also probably want to get a monument and try to get a hero. But we don't have so many barbs at the moment. So maybe we will get a monument and then get a builder. So we can boost craftsmanship while we're going through mysticism. So that's not a bad idea. And then we will get one envoy with all of the city-states. <laughs> so, Jerusalem, they are very good also because it makes your holy sites exert more religious pressure. So we may try to become their suzerain. So, let's escort our settler with our slinger. And we'll go over to the horse tiles. And then we will be able to start settling away our horses. And there's another goodie hut. And it looks like there's also a barbarian warrior guarding the goodie hut. That's kind of bad. We don't like that because we want to get what's inside. We can kill this barb. And it looks like Jerusalem was also trying to kill that barb. So maybe yes, we will go for a monument. We might want to get Himiko or maybe we will just keep on waiting. It's always really good. I want to get Himiko and I want to get Hercules. I also want to get Maui, and it's a very hard to get all three of them. And he's sending us a delegation. How very nice of him. So, yep, that's very good for us, because we get more gold. And sure enough, the barb has attacked our scout, but I believe that our scout is strong, and that we can move into the goody hut, and that we won't die. And then we can heal up. Well, we met Oya. And we got the early empire boost. And we will heal. And the barb will attack us again. And we want to continue to chase this barb. So we can kill it. And boost bronze working. We also want to kill this barb. So, yep. That's what we want to do. We've already got a golden age. And it's only turn 34. And we don't want to get much more era score. So we want to keep it down because the more era score you get, the harder it is to get another golden age. But we do want to get a religion. And we come in here and we are glad to know that Congo's in the game. And we are the only one getting great profit points. So we probably don't have to worry about getting sniped. But we're not sure yet. We don't know who else is in the game. So we'll just keep moving our settler and get to work on a lavra. As soon as we can. So we can get our great prophet. And our scout lived. And sure enough, he spawned out barbarian horses. That's very bad. And now our warrior, he's in very big trouble. So we want to back up. Or we can take a promotion. Well, but we may still die. If we back up, we might be able to live. But let's take our promotion. And we'll go for our battle cry. And hopefully we can survive. Otherwise, we're going to have to go for a hero. And we want our scout to run away. So we can run over here. And there's also lots of barbs. Our scout will probably die. But they're less likely to come and kill us in our city. We're going to need another slinger. So we need to get our settler over to the horses very quickly. So, yeah, we got a lot of barbs. That's very bad. And Vatican City, they have been defeated. And 
we can see our warrior he lived and we can try to back up this barbarian he is almost dead so hopefully our warrior can heal and our scout he is also still alive so we want to heal so we can see that the Vatican City they belong to the Incans however we have not met the Incans yet so yep and they're very close to where we want to settle our city so that's not very good so we'll probably have to settle another city down here and we could settle over here near the spices maybe it's better if we settle in the river if they are three tiles away we can still get them so we'll keep it in mind so we could also settle up here if we can't settle near the Incans we will just wait and see maybe we will go with some horsemen and we can liberate the Vatican of course the Incans they won't be very happy if we declare war on them but it is possible we will see we can see but now we just wait and we hope our our warrior he can get out of this problem so we need to heal up maybe we can heal or we can back up these horses they can move very quickly so we can try to fortify and hope we don't die and we will settle our city right here and yeah we will settle and Moscow has become the first settlement on another continent so yeah we got to Ariscor so yeah that's what we got and now we can go for a Lavra so we want to come over to this plus seven or maybe we can settle for a plus six so we only have to spend 60 gold and that might be better so let's go ahead and put our lavra right here that's still a good spot and our lavra it will finish in 10 turns so that's very good for us and we should go for writing it looks like uh, we finished archery and we didn't really want to finish it because we wanted to buy another slinger so but we can upgrade the slinger that we have to archery and that would be good because we have lots of barbarians so we might be able to do that we want to meet the incans so we can sell them our horses however it will give us more error score so we'll just wait and see and our scout he is going to die however our warrior he survived and he boosted bronze working so now we need to heal up and yeah we should continue to scout well we found the fountain of youth <laughs> which gave us more error score and we met the incans it also gave us more error score so we met a nancy so yeah we're not looking for him well jerusalem's way over there it's very far away so we'll send him a delegation and we might not have any horses we've got two so we can sell him two horses and see what he'll give us he'll give us eight gold we can also take his diplomatic favors but he looks like he's not interested usually the ai they will sell you their diplomatic favors for one gold usually early in the game but if for some reason he doesn't want to trade them so he's not interested in trading his diplos that's very strange because usually the ai they don't value their diplos and they will trade them however we will trade them our horses so we can get some gold and yeah we met the incans and we got a lot of era score so this looks like a very good place to put a stop in this video and we will continue on the next turn so you'll have to come back to the next video so you can continue to see how we play and see what happens next we got a bit of a barb problem but we're doing okay for now so we met the vatican and we have met the congo 
So, yep, there's the Congo. And yep, we can see that they are building the Etamanaki. So guess what? We already know that we will not build it. We'll be chopping our marshes. We'll have some very nice big cities. So we can build more districts. So that is very good. So we will save the game here. And you'll have to come back in the next video to see what we do next. So thank you for watching. And we'll see you again in the very next video.